everybody. Good morning. It's Jean here. Um, this is not necessarily a tutorial, except it's um, how I do stuff. I've been working on my rooster. If you, if you remember, I had um, done my rooster. I had made the pattern from my computer. Um, I'm working on it, and the, the next few videos that we've we've done over the couple days shows you how it's evolving. Um, it doesn't quite look like that. <laughs> um, and my Elliot came in to help me um, a few nights ago, and I'm I'm just working on this, and um, it's it's as I said, um, I've I've not gotten to the point where I'm gluing anything down. It's a rooster collage. Uh, just cutting out fabrics, but I'll show you my thought process. A lot of you are like, oh, I, li I, li I like to see how you, you think in your sewing room. So this is just a small little wall hanging that I'm making. But um, between Elliot and I, we've come up with some, some uh, decent, decent ideas about it. So this is the beginning of it. And you will see by the end of this video how far I've gotten. Um, and then I'm going to be working on other things. So, um, But yeah, my rooster collage is coming along. All right, hope you enjoy this. See ya. So I am working on my rooster quilt. And what I have found, I have, I have gone shopping in my, uh, my room. Um, let me just see, let me just show you what I have so far. I think before I was showing you, I had done a, um, a free vector of, on uh, the computer of a rooster. I think it's a popular pattern, but I just copied it out on the computer because it's free. And I just did the outline. I just, <laughs> I, 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 I take these pieces of paper together and then I put it up to the computer with a Sharpie and I draw an outline. There's a million images of, um, for free on the computer of um, this pattern of a rooster. Um, and then, so I have my, I have that pattern. And then what I, I think I'm going to change it up. I'm making this a bit like I did my, um, the uh, girl, my dress pattern, um, which I had the, the Laura Heine pattern uh, for, but um, I'm doing that. I did that on a, a, a creamish gold background. I found this in my in my shopping um, in my room here, and it's a black with a white uh, uh, with like a silver. It looks like bar like a chicken wire. Chicken wire. I think I got it not for this. Thing, but some for some reason it's just a little it's just a it looks like a yard of fabric so I think I'm going to do my rooster on the black yeah I think I'm gonna do that and then I found this I found this um board like a panel not a panel print but an all-over print with roosters with the red and the the cream and the black which is real farmhousey um, looking so I don't I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use that um, I don't know how much I got because I, I, I would have to do it uh, vertically and then horizontally if I want to do a border and then maybe maybe I'm thinking like a, a red and white checkerboard like uh, to make it real sort of farmy you know barnyardy looking maybe I don't know but I'm not at that point yet so now um, I have my pattern and I don't need all of this fabric. In fact, it just it works out that my rooster can go on the half a yard or the, the um, width of the fabric just that much. Um, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a couple inches up there. Because I like that black. You won't be you won't see it an awful lot, so I like it. So um, I think I'll I think I'll just I think I'll do it like to here. Oh, maybe I'll have a little bit more at the top. And just and I'll just rip it off there. And then um there's about that much over here. I'll just rip that off there. So this is what I will be this is will be my background fabric for me uh applique or um yeah raw edge appliqueing my rooster. Now obviously here's my paper pattern, right? Here's my paper pattern of my rooster. Now what I have done is I have a, I always buy yardage of muslin and I've already started this. So what I do is I'm going to keep that, that's been sharpied around like black sharpie. So what I've done is, and that's my actual size of my rooster that I want. It's just a small little wall hanging this will end up. So what I've done is I've taken my, my, my uh, muslin and I've just 
very casually, very, um, yeah, to there, very, um, <laughs> very what, Jean? <laughs> very, um, lately, I've taken my, my rooster, my, my muslin, and put it over my, my, um, uh, rooster pattern. Just literally, as you can see, with just an inch or so. But I've, I've penned it, I've penned it about a half an inch inside of the, of the, um, rooster pattern. Okay, you got that? Like, my rooster's out here in my Sharpie, but my pen is inside. So what I'm, and I haven't done the feet yet. I'll do, I'll, I'll address them separately. So, if you can see, there's my pattern, and then my muslin is just inside of that pattern just slightly around here and I haven't m bothered with the feet yet now the reason I'm doing this is obviously uh, take my pattern away obviously I might I don't want my my um fabrics I don't want the black to shadow through if you remember I did this on my um my dress quilt my dress collage uh, because even like that muslin that that black is shadowing through so by the time i put some uh all of his feathers on and his cuts comb or whatever that is and his his breastplate here and then i'll put the feet on i'll also do the feet on the um with the muslin um I, you won't the colors will stand out a bit more with the collage so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut this muslin out um and then and then the and the feet i'm going to make the pattern of the feet with the on the the uh the muslin here and then i will i will position it and then i'll very very lightly just glue that down uh with an elmer's glue stick as you saw me do the other time and then i'll start cutting out my pieces it won't be an awfully lot of collage um i'll just start cutting out my pieces to do you know long pieces for the uh, i have to figure out what colors i want to do since this is just red and white and black um there are certain roosters and chickens that are red white and black I, I i might want to change it up and put a little bit of color maybe a bit of gold like because i think that would look nice um with the with this fabric but um i'll look online i'll google i'll google the images of roosters and see what colors they are um and then i'll go from there google is your friend and that's what my kids always tell me and we'll put a red 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 thing on here like this is like this rooster here is is white this one is white and black with a red thing on the top. Um, but I think I want to add a bit more color. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to glue that down, position it. I like, I like the black. I like the black chicken wire. It's cool. <laughs> and um, yeah, then I'll go from there. Okay. So I was looking at this um, pattern, uh, um, uh, my, my black, and... And I like it. I like it very much. I like the fact that the rooster is going to stand out. But then I was, I kept going back to this fabric here and thinking, um, as I said, it's just three colors. It's white, black, black, white, and red, right? Um, but I keep going to the red behind the actual rooster, the red circle behind the rooster. Um, and I, I, I like that. I like that. So I thought, well, instead of just having this on black, why don't I have a red circle? Or is it an oval? One's an oval. Oh, more, um, they're sort of ovals behind the rooster. You see that? Yeah. I like that. So um, I found this. I found this fabric in my, in my room here. And that it's sort of the same, sort of that, uh, uh, a little bit of an orangey red. I have to really, va I have to really va vacuum this. What do I have to do? Iron it. <laughs> vacuum it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out, <laughs> somehow, I'm going to cut out an oval. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing behind my rooster. Um, how do you cut out an oval? I think I want an oval because that looks like an oval. Looks like an oval more than a circle. So it's sort of, although my rooster's this way, my rooster is sideways. Their, their roosters are up and down. I got, a, I got a short, fat rooster. These are like taller, skinny roosters. Um, so maybe I will get a circle. Hmm. Hmm. And then the rooster isn't, isn't all that um, 
Uh, oh, oh, the head and the feet are off are off the circle. Okay, so I just need a piece. So here's the feet, but the feet are off the circle. So I just do here. So here goes. <laughs> so my circle is going to be there. Ah, let me just do it this size. You, 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 you. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> People are like, oh, I like to watch your thought process. And I'm like, oh, I don't have a thought process. I just, I just start cutting and hope for the best. Oh, I think that is too small. <laughs> How do I make a circle? Hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to cut it here. Although the head is off. So it's here. I better make it bigger. I can always make it smaller, right? All right. I'm always amazed when I can cut that. <laughs> okay, so here's my red, which is a wrinkled mess. And all of the threads. I will iron it, everybody. Don't worry. So here's my red. Oh, I think I like that, don't you? I think I like that, Jean. Yeah, I think that's nice. Oh, somebody also said you talk to yourself a lot. <laughs> I, I do tend to talk to myself. <laughs> no one's else here. Okay, so now there's my red. Oh, I think that's going to be pretty. So i got to make a circle out of that. So forget my rooster. Now, I need a, I need a, um, like a, how do they do that? Let me just see if I can do it this way. I, should, I really should iron this. <laughs> let me just see. I put that there and let me get my, let me like curve my corners of my, my quilt binding, right? Uh, my thought process is crazy. Not square at all. But let me just see. A circle. So it would go like that. And then bring it around and go like that. Okay. Okay. So I think this is... I think... Oh, I have to iron it. Oh, oh. It's, it's sort of... Nah. It's, it's sort of too square. So let me... Uh, let me try this again. You can go iron it. Oh, yeah, it's too square a corner. I want to make it more of an oval, right? So I have to come up. <laughs> I am. Um, I've. I've been cutting down and cutting down and cutting down this red here. And I've decided on this sort of oval behind my, um, my rooster. I cut out my rooster, um, my muslin, cut out my muslin. And now, and I, I like that. I, you see how that pops, that red just pops off of this, um, this, uh, this fabric. If I'm, if I'm going to use this, well, obviously I'm going to use the fabric now. I really like that. I really like that, that look. Um, yeah, probably just use two of them. I may just use one. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll see. Because it's, I didn't realize. I thought it was, um, I thought it was a bit joggled, but it's it's joggled up here, but not. It has, it's just one line there. So I may use one or two for the border, and it just pops. I was very thrilled because this red here really does match nicely. If you can see that. Now, obviously, I'm going to have colors on my my rooster, but that's basically sort of what it's going to look like. I've I've ironed it and all. I just kept having to cut down that oval, that circle. Now I've got a little hunk of muslin here, and I'm going to outline the feet. And again, this is a little bit. I'm going to do it just slightly smaller than my pattern, just inside the um, the pattern. I don't know if you can see this, but I've pulled up on my computer a stock image of a rooster. And I really like that one. It's a real rooster. Um, and it has almost like a hot pink red uh, thing on its head and the beak. Hopefully you can see that. I'm photographing my computer. And this like sort of a peacock blue 
tailed plume and this golden yellow with going into red and this almost like a sapphire. So I'm now going to be pulling from my stash all these different colors um, and try to, uh, you know, see if I can get my rooster sort of looking like that I see his legs his feet there are sort of like a gray so I'm gonna look if I have some gray again I'm gonna try to make it as realistic obviously it's gonna be a collage but that's a real rooster and I really like that colorway so I'm gonna just gonna see if I can go pull some fabrics and see what I come up with looking at the image that I found um, online of the real rooster I have pulled a bunch of different fabrics uh, here and I'm messing about with them. Um, I've pulled bright oranges and sort of a dusty orange. Um, I've pulled these, this, if you remember, they, oh, I pulled yellows, different color yellows, goldens. I pulled a hot pink, which I don't love. Um, and then I pulled this red a fat quarter that I had. and. I have to be careful with the red of the coxcomb, which I have already cut out. What I did is I I put the fat quarter, fortunately it showed through. It showed through my pattern. I could just do it a little bit bigger, right? I had to do it bigger. So I cut this out a little bit bigger from when I was, uh, did the, when I penned it, penned it. It's still, it's a little bit too big, I think. But what I'll do is I'll keep referring back to, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's a little bit one, one dimensional now. I can't make it like photorealistic. I'm not doing that. But um, what I've done is I've, there's one, two, three, so far there's three different golden yellow and orange for that, for that, those feathers on its neck. Um, the, the orange is more up here or the golden's more up here. And then that sapphire there. Um, I saw, I found this modeled batik, which is more purple. Boy, like, you know, greens and blues, and here's one. It's more, it's more like a peacock. I have to, I have to see if I have, I'm sure I do somewhere here, have like that peacock. Uh, oh, I think I have peacock fabric. But I don't, you know, because these are just solids. You see how these just, these are, they read solid because they are solids. I like that one. It's a bit too purple though. So this is where I am now. I'm going to, I'm going to, I haven't, I haven't um, glued anything down. I have not even glued that. This is the fun part. I'm just sort of cutting, I'm just sort of cutting from these fabrics, um, uh, you know, feather shapes. Obviously I have to go iron these. So I'll just, I'll just keep. I just keep cutting these the more the, the I, I think the trick with this collage obviously is having more feathers like having more texture and more dimension obviously um, because the a bird does have more and then I'm going to continue working on that that comb thing because there's this waddle hanging down oh, I see the beak is more gray like his feet are gray now I have this stuff I have these. Oh, do you, do you remember these? These were from my, um, my, my circle, my galaxy quilt. <laughs> so, oh, that's pretty. That's a bit too blue. These are my fat quarters. I mean, my, um, layer cakes from, uh, Missouri Star Quilt Company. Remember these? Um, oh, this is there. So pretty. Look at that one. That's beautiful. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a square that I had made. <laughs> Look at that. But I could use that. That's a pretty, that's a pretty color. So I'll just cut that out. That was a square that I made, that I was applying my circles onto. I made a couple. But this is the color I want. I wonder if I have any more of that. Yeah, see that's the color I want in amongst them. So I'll, I'll probably start cutting these large uh, feathers out of these, all these different ones. So it's a, it's, a com it's a color combination. And then work on his face and his eye that will really make it pop remember remember Cheryl my elephant Elliot said you have to have a, a white bead or something to make the highlight so I'll do that but for now as you can see my rooster is coming along real pretty I like it very much so I'm going to start working on the sapphire here um, start doing that get everything in order and then I'll just pick everything up gently and um, start gluing it down
but I, I'm a I'm a way I'm a long ways from there. But yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna see if I have a, any other blues. These are nice, but they're flat. They they they're solid solid. I don't love that. So um, here's a dark blue. Oh, there's a dark bluey green. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's real pretty. Yeah. Yeah, a dollar. I got that a long time ago. A fat quarter for a dollar, right? <laughs> oh my word, fat quarters are expensive now. So, I don't know where I got that. Nice, that's nice fabric. So yeah, so there is that sort of jewel, sapphire that might be on his breast. So that's, that's my thought process now. I'm going to start getting my fabrics together and and cutting out and making my, uh, placing everything down so it looks a little bit real, the color. So yeah, love it. Okay, so there's my image of my fairly tall, uh, thin rooster. And <laughs> Elliot's come in after work. Oh, Elliot, look at you, my man. Yep. Well, Elliot works painting. hard painting, terribly, yep. terribly painting. But he's come in and he's seen my, my short, <laughs> my short fat rooster. I'm getting the colors right, right? Well, no, no, you, so, 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 Elliot's so here's, here's what, here's what, you know, in like Victorian eras where the ladies would have the big dresses and they would be relatively skinny, but for whatever reason, they had this big thing off the back of their sides. Called a bustle. Bustle. This looks like it has a bustle. And that doesn't, that's not what that image looks like. So it's essentially as if, it's essentially as if with the way my mom cut it out, she added all feathers down here, whereas there's actually isn't. So what it makes it look like, it makes it look, it makes it look like the chicken's all super fat and like it's butts all the way out here. So you know what I mean? So, so basically, I... you having this here, just cut all that off and have it up there. So cut all this white out. What? So watch, 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 watch. We'll take my this creative all out. direct. Oh, oh yeah, make we'll it, make it a out. taller, thinner. I'll Make take it that a taller, all out. thinner. Take that all out and do it like that. And there you go. And it <laughs> makes it look like that. It makes it look like that. See? So you have, sure, you have the, the, the broad, you know, thing off the, the, off the front. The breast. You know, it's got a big, it's got a big puffy chest, sure. But by, by eliminating all that stuff that was down here. And also I see my red more. And you see your red more by eliminating it all, it makes it look more like a chicken as opposed to a chicken with a bustle. A chicken with a big butt. Or a chicken with a big butt. So I just now, because the it does have the red, it does have the orange things coming here as a different thing. But then I have... Well, well what, what you would do is I mean, to, to match the picture, that would actually be up here. And one of these, and then you'd have, to match that picture over there, you'd have these coming across here. You know these coming across here, and then this orange would be on top. A few of these yeah, oranges right. be would be on top of that. Cause look, you see. So maybe you do. Maybe you even you could layer an orange, a green, an orange, a green. If you wanted to match the picture exactly, and then big orange. And big orange. You know what I mean? So, and then it would look. Then it would look more correct. Cause right th there you had a big with this with I, this I pattern. Did. With this pattern, you made. It's so where it's like your where's a marker? You got a marker? Yeah. So with this marker, basically what I'm supposed what I'm by you drawing it down here was wrong and you wanted you wanted to go up here and have it out there. And then you know and that, that wouldn't be that. like you know get rid of that. You're right. So it's a, so we've made a a, sh a, a a more horizontal rooster into a more vertical rooster with a big plume out the back. Yeah, with a plume that comes out the top of his butt as opposed to all out of his butt making it look big. Yeah, because it wasn't working and I was thinking, what in the world? Now, now his his waddle in his eye is obviously not right. I just did that. Uh, well, it's that wouldn't be, night. you know, you do not you, you do. We got to figure out you this. You go with, but well, no, you got to make this smaller and then add a black bead of something, a small something. Here, let me just see something here. So like that, you make it, 
You make it. Wait, let me just. So I get a bead, but do do we need it white? Because on no. the on, yeah no. yeah on no. the rooster it's no. saying it's not white. It's funny that it's black. It's a beady black eye. And this would actually be a lot smaller too. The round would be a lot smaller. The, the yellow would be a lot smaller as well. So this one would be. This one would be. Is that yellow good, or should I just do it a plain yes, yellow? Yes, no. This is this is a, a good, good thing. This is a good yellow. Because I was looking so at the this, picture. You do. So like that. So look at the picture. Look at the picture. And its beak needs to be yellow. Yes, and I saw that its beak needs to be yellow. But you yeah, see but how it's a. You see how it's yellow. It's, it's, and then black. Well, that's what that's black. what I was. And what you could do is, if, if you did a black bead, it would be shine. Like no, up. up I don't, now it wouldn't necessarily be a black bead. You have it as a. What do they look? It's almost like it almost looks like a faceted gemstone. You know what I mean? Out made out of plastic. That's like kind of shiny. I've seen those before. Oh, I think I have one. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like kind of like a. It's yeah. kind of like a bead, but it's kind of almost yeah. like a button kind yes. of look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, and it's like a little faceted gemstone. If you have one of those kind of deals. Um, oh, oh, you know oh wait I mean? a second. You know what I mean? Look, it, look, it would, look, it would, look, it would look, look, look. How about? How about one of my? Well, no, these these are obviously all too big. These are obviously all too big. I think in the middle. I think in there. I have. But it's like it almost looks like a black diamond. Do you know what I mean? I got it. I got it. Yeah, I you got the. I, mean? I have it in my beading. I yeah, have it in yeah, my beading. I, I think I've seen it. In yeah, I have it in my beading. So it's about that size. It's okay. about that size. Yeah, I have it. I have it. So what do you think, folks? I think that should be good. And then you you like that border? I like the border. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, the, with, yeah, well, with of, that, of this? Yeah. Of this? And then, so like, you... then I thought like a red and to make it like farm-like, barn-like, I thought maybe a um, a red and maybe even a red and black checkerboard. Like around the whole thing to ground no, it. No, okay. Because no. like here's, farmy. Here's, 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 you might think this might be a little bit too much work, but I would do, instead of doing all this as a border, instead of doing all that as a border, it's a little too white. It's a little too. Yeah, I, it's a little I, too. So what you uh, this might be a lot of work, but I I think this is what you should do. You cut each of the individual these out, so it's as if you do this red, this or maybe red and black or something like that. You just have some color in here. That way these individually stand out. So you skip one with something. A red here. a red and black oh. checkerboard. A red and black checkerboard would work perfectly. Like a four patch. So yeah, like a four patch. One. Now, one just last thing. Before I put this border on, should I put a border of the blue? Just a small little. Yes. 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 yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Just so, a so small. So you have little... all of that. that you have and then all the, that. Your eye draws. And then you, and then you draw. You, then, 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 what, what, what is that called? What, when you when you when you wrap onto the either, either side? No, no. You that, do that tiny thing. No, no. That's the That's the binding. No, you just bind it. You do this, and then you bind it with the blue. You don't want a sashing of the blue around? Be, be, no. 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 I would go. I would go. The. I, I would just have the binding as the blue, because then it, the the blue, that would tie. That so would you tie have the black. In. You have the white. If you if you you know you have you have some of the color, which is your eye will see white. There is a little bit identify, of white in here. But I, I know. But, but your, the, the white will identify with the lighter colors of the yellow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Visually. So you're yeah you have your yellow represented with the white, you have your you have the the reds. red representative by the reds, and then you have it all bound in blue. Okay. Look at that, folks. What I mean? And that's you know, like that's <laughs> that's how it works. And here he is painting houses and painting rooms. Yeah. <laughs> My artist son. What were you doing? Uh, I was uh, nicotine. Covered oh. walls. Twenty-five years of nicotine covered <gasps> walls. It doesn't. It didn't smell bad like nicotine because the guy before he died, he kind of quit smoking the first like last five years. So the owner of the, the the place is like, that's probably why. Like had five years to air out of not smoking. Oh, not smoking. Yeah. So um, we just basically, you know what I mean. So so uh, it was. It didn't smell super bad of smoke. Um, but yeah, painted over all these like orangey. Yellow walls oh, good boy. Uh, with white. Yeah, so good boy. Uh, that's why I got all speckles it's... all over my arms. Hard worker, my. So, I don't know if you see all the speckles. I don't know that. Might, I don't know if that shows oh, up in yeah. the camera. Yep. Yep. 
Thank you, Elliot. Yep. And there's Spartan Drywall. That's Dominic's. Oh, that's his, my other brother's. <laughs> that's his other I brother's business. I wasn't working for Spartan Drywall. This is just the shirt I was wearing. Uh, so. <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. Love right. you. Bye. So I got another day. I got uh, I got some input from my Elliot, as you saw, and this is this is what I'm working with now. Forget his her, that the stupid head because it, it, that looks very cartoonish. This area here, I got to work on this. But this is what I've come up with. And as you saw, I, Elliot had me cut away that piece. So now I have more of a, if you can see that, I have more of a tall, thin rooster. Um, and I was noticing here that I want to bring this, I want to bring this um, sort of his, his breast plate, or whatever it is, a little bit inside. So I have to trim away this white there and bring the feathers in a little bit which again will make him a little bit taller and thinner i obviously have to um i'm going to cover all the white and i have to i still have to keep filling in the um up here uh, and this part here to to sort of make some shadows but yeah i'm on the way <laughs> His, his, his face looks ridiculous. In fact, I was using, as I showed you, I was using this red, um, which is a nice color, but it, I think I want to use something with a little bit more of a modeled, let me just see if I have something, a little bit more of a modeled uh, look, maybe a batik that I have. Yeah, I don't love the solid. That's reading a little bit too flat. I'll sort that out. And then again, I've not, I've not, I've not glued down anything. I've just, um, I just start cutting things out, like on the curve, um, to to go around the curve. But I am um, I'm very pleased that that Elliot came in and gave me some some uh, little hints for my rooster. Yeah. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to stop this now. I'm going to work on this. I might put a I might put a something, probably put do a, a lovely blanket stitch around <laughs> you know me and my blanket stitches i like that around my red you can sort of see the red um it's funny i made the oval taller and yet my pattern was was shorter and was uh, more vertical was more horizontal and yet as elliot said cut this bit out mom and make your rooster taller and thinner so i cut all that out and uh yeah, this is fun. Ton I have um I just pulled from my blue area over there. Uh all different all different colors. I'm not again, I'm not overthinking it. But I remember I said about the peacock. I have this peacock peacock feather fabric and it's funny it has green in it, but uh, again it reads uh, it reads a, a beautiful blue and I and I found it up, up here in my uh, fat quarters. I found this bit of batik. And again, uh, or like almost a tie dye. Again, it has a lot of green in it, but I'm using it just in little subtle bits um, to show the variations on that, the roosters thing. So yeah, I got to work on the head. I'll get Elliot in here to help me work on the head, but I'm, I'm very, very, um, I'm very uh, satisfied with the body so far and how, um, how it's coming along. So yeah, stay tuned for my rooster. Thank you.